Good afternoon, electric vehicle enthusiasts. Mark here with another installment of My EV Life. I'm headed into San Francisco, headed to the South San Francisco Rivian Service Center right now, getting my recall issue addressed. Now, as many of you probably heard, on October 7th, Rivian announced a recall of most of their vehicles. It has to do with something in the steering. Let me read it to you real quickly. They cannot confirm that all vehicles have the front upper control arm and steering knuckle retention fastener for each wheel sufficiently torqued. So my interpretation of that is simply two parts that come together that allow you to steer your vehicle may not be tightened hard enough. So, okay, could be serious, but I also heard that only seven vehicles out of the 13, 14,000 produced uh, were found to have this issue. So I figured, okay, I'll just wait till the next time I'm getting my vehicle service and I'll have it addressed then. But so many people have come up to me and asked me about it. Oh my gosh, what about the recall? Making it sound as if every Rivian vehicle has been pulled off the road. But I thought, okay, let me go in there, get it addressed. That way I can film, film it, get a video out, show everybody what the whole situation is really like. Now Rivian announced this recall themselves. They were not forced to. They identified the issue and out of an abundance of caution, they decided to, to take action. And, and what is that action? They actually, I think, have jumped all over this, giving you tons of options. So option one is they'll do a mobile service visit. They'll come out to your house. They'll fix it right in your driveway. You'll never have to lift a finger. Now, you may have to wait a little while until they have an available appointment. So that's option one. Option two is you can just drive to any service center, which is what I'm doing right now. No reservation, no appointment, show up. And apparently they'll give me some kind of expedited service and they'll fix it. By the way, this is only supposed to take like literally a minute of them tightening something. Um, option three is you can go to pop-up locations. If you don't live close to a service center, you can go ahead to a pop-up location. Uh, now I live close to a service center. Uh, this one's about 22 miles from my house. And then option four is if you don't want to come unannounced, they will uh, set up a visit for you. So that way you're assured that your visit will be uh, very short. You won't have to wait at all. All right, so those are all the options we're doing the, the the just show up and see what happens approach. So I'm going to be pulling up to the service center in about 10 minutes, and we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm pulling up to the Rivian service center. Let's we'll see if I can find a sign here. Uh, it says service pop-up. Oh, that sounds like me. I'm doing a service pop-up. Holy crap. Holy cow, look at all the Rivian vehicles. Some of them are matte, too. That's crazy. Employees only beyond this point. Interesting. Holy cow. That one's got the mat on it. Is it shipped like that? What? Nice. Interesting. Okay. How's it going? Are you here for the recall? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, can you set your um, ride height to the highest on the off-road mode? Okay, sure. Are we going inside or doing it in the parking uh, lot? Yeah, just over here. Okay. Uh, ride height. Oops, this one. Ride height um, off-road. Mm -hmm. And then the highest? Then we'll go to highest. Maybe I have to foot. Him a foot. There we go. Sorry. All right, cool. Uh, and I'm going to get the text. Okay? Sure. Thank you. So here's the bad news for this video. I'm not going to be able to get out of the truck here. They asked me to stay in the vehicle so that I can turn the wheel left and then right for them as they work on it. I also don't think they want people walking around the service yard here. Now, I do turn the camera off here for two minutes and I don't turn it back on until they're already on the second tire. It all happened so fast, to be honest but they're down there right now working on the right tire. I also didn't get consent to record them, so I have to avoid showing their faces. If the image looks odd at times, it's because I'm overlaying still images to hide their faces. Excellent, so I'm all set, huh? No parts needed? I uh, know, uh, the right wheel is a little bit low, but like, you know, it's not below the threshold though. That's good. Oh, low in what sense? Oh, the, the torque? Oh, yeah. okay, I got you. That's why he was over there a little bit more. Yeah. Okay, perfect. I guess we're all set. Thanks for all your help. Oh, uh, no problem. Well, can I ask you, um, is that aftermarket? You guys don't offer that, do you? Uh, I think uh, for the wraps, we do actually. We offer a program for like the wraps. So you the the matte wrap, is, is you can get that from, from Rivian? From the... uh, 
think so, yeah. Wow. I heard about, yeah, <laughs> only recently I heard That about is this. so cool. And then, and then the, the toe points are yellow too, huh? Uh, well, that, that I think is like a customer. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Very cool. All right, thank you so much. No problem. I'll just pull forward here. Now, since I'm a kid in a candy store, I'll take my time turning around to leave, which allows me to film all the vehicles. So let's take this opportunity to call out the vehicle colors that were here on this day. Starting on the left, we see forest green, glacier white. There's a Rivian blue there in the back. Now, I think that's a midnight, the black there in the front. It could also be an, a darker forest green, but I'll call that midnight. Behind that is just a sliver of a red canyon. And if you've ever seen that color in person, it is a really cool red. And then the one on the right there is a limestone. Now, over here, we have two of my colors, the launch green, one on the left and the right. In the middle, you've got an L cap granite, that gray, and then you have a midnight or a black. Now, this also has that wrap on it, so let's talk about it. They actually don't call this a wrap. They call this a paint protection film, a PPF, and it comes in glossy or satin. But a lot of people call that a matte wrap. And I saw three vehicles total that had this, and there's three possibilities of where they came from. So one, they could be customer vehicles there for service, so those could be aftermarket PPFs. They could be employee vehicles, and they could have added them aftermarket or the third possibility is that these are vehicles ready for delivery and the PPF was added by Rivian in the factory or at regional facilities. Now, they do have a program. It is pilot. They are launching it. I heard it's $4,500 or $5,000 to get the PPF wrap added at the time you take delivery. You can add the vehicle when you order it. Now, I don't see the ability to configure this PPF on the website when you order it today. You can get some paint protection, but just on the front, not the full wrap. You can also go to the Rivian support site and you see them answer this question that they do offer paint protection film. And they even give you a link to the Expel site. That's their partner who provides those films. And you can see their site here, which talks specifically about what they do on the Rivian vehicles and the options that they have. Clearly, there's a pilot program. The employee just told me there is. So someone's figuring it out. I think, I think some people are ordering them. So how specifically you order the PPF at the time you order your vehicle, that I can't tell you. My guess is that it's through your Rivian guide who contacts you when you get within a few weeks of taking delivery of your vehicle. But if you have the scoop on adding PPF to your vehicle at the time of purchase, please add comments down below because I'd love to hear about it. Moving on to some more colors, we've got a limestone there on the left, nice dark forest green, a bright compass yellow, another launch green, another L cap granite. And then moving back over here, we'll see that truck with the PPF again. That's the El Cab Granite. Then you see Rivian Blue next to it. In the middle, you've got a Glacier White, two of them actually, and a Dark Forest Green, and then my Launch Green as well. Now, before we head out on the road, I want to show you one more thing. I want to give you a quick tour of this facility because it's not just a service center. It also is where you come and take possession of your new Rivian. Yes, Rivian does mobile deliveries, and I've done those for both our Teslas. It's such a cool experience to have a new vehicle delivered at your house, but you will opt to come here to pick up your new Rivian if you want to shave time off your delivery date. And that is what I did. So here is the waiting room, and here is where you meet your new Rivian vehicle, right here. This is where it happens. And this is what it looked like for us five months ago when we were here. Good times. And of course, all the people I've encountered at Rivian, all the employees are incredibly gracious and they make this a really fun experience for you and the family. So I'm back on the road headed home after my visit to the Rivian Service Center and I want to share some of my observations. So first of all, that was incredibly fast and incredibly easy. I think I was on property a total of maybe five minutes tops and a couple of those minutes were just because I was asking them questions. Didn't have to get out of the vehicle, didn't have to wait. All I had to do was turn the, vehicle, uh, the wheel to the left and to the right. The left tire uh, required no tightening. They were down there for literally 10 seconds. The right tire did require some tightening. They were down there for one minute. They pop up and say, you're good to go. So that was it, in and out. So let me share a couple comments about this recall in general. Uh, one, all manufacturers have recalls, all of them. So let's not pretend that this was, this was a big deal. Um, my Chrysler minivan had three recalls in three years. Every time we had to bring it in, it was a long wait to get an appointment. While I was there, they would try to sell me something. Every one of those three visits was a painful experience. That experience here today with Rivian was a 10 out of 10 stars. Uh, number two, the nature of this recall does not concern me. No defective design, no defective part. 
just something that needed to be tightened. Also, this was self-reported, right? There was no investigation, there was no cover-up. Rivian identified an issue, jumped all over it. And that leads me to my final point, which is simply, let's not judge a car manufacturer by the mere fact that they have a recall. Let's judge them by how they respond to it. You know, and here's what I expect. Here's, a, here's how you get a 10 out of 10 stars for me. One, as soon as you had know there's a problem, let me know about it. So quick response, being uh, very transparent, that's the first thing. Two, give me lots of options to get it fixed, right? And Rivian gave me four options. And the last is make those options easy, like minimize the impact on my life. If I have to come in and leave the vehicle, are you gonna give me a loaner? You know, things like that. So be transparent, let us know what's going on, give us options, make those options easy. Rivian nailed all those, I give them a 10 out of 10. So this video is gonna be pretty short and pretty simple because that Rivian service center visit was pretty short and pretty simple. I don't have much else to share, so I'm just gonna wrap up and say go ahead and subscribe to my channel down below. Check out the other videos that I have out there on my EV life. I've got one that I'm editing right now that should be out in a few days. I had a mobile service visit from Tesla and another mobile service visit, visit from Rivian both in the same week. I recorded that. I'm going to edit that and get that out and I can let you see how the two service visits compare to each other. And then this week I'm going to be filming up on my roof my solar panels, my Tesla solar panels. So we'll get a, a video out in about a week on those. So with that, I'm going to thank you for your time today. I'll see you on the next video and you have yourself a great EV day.